Hi, I'm Uncle Al from the Marcus of Americas Project and Uncle Al Says. I'm here today to talk about our next step in the Marcus of Americas Project and our goal to build rules for day, today's politics that will help put politics back into the lane it belongs. Our topic today is about kids events and what little we think should actually happen in reference to politics and kids events. It's important for you to understand that if we're going to create a new social compact where everybody says hey yeah you can do that it's legal but we just don't do that here we have other ways to solve our problems through a orderly process where we give everyone the right to speak we think at the Marcus of America's project and practitioners of Marcus understand when you're a child you're a child it's a limited very limited period of time we don't need to pollute childhood with our crappy politics 90 percent of the time they don't need to go through that we don't need to inject it into places it doesn't belong and it, when it comes to kids events we think there's very little very little um, where it belongs so we're going to go through the rules first you'll see in the listing below is actually a, a printout or a PDF that you can put up um, and read along with of course Carly's back uh, my beautiful and lovely niece uh, to help take us through this uh, this section of Marcus's rules on kids events so whether you print this out or read along on the screen um, Let's get started and talk about Marcus's rules for kids' events. Carly? Thanks, Uncle Al. Okay, folks, let's get started. Public events. There are many different types of public events, from small group activities, like a hearing on mundane procedural matters at your local city hall, to large concerts or fair or festivals. Marcus has a split view on conducting politics at public events. At general public events, if you're following the event organizer's rules, stay within the law and are cordial to all. Have fun. When it comes to events directed at kids, Marcus's rules highly limits this intrusion of the adult world. Kids events. Marcus's rules classify all events that have children, humans under 18 years of age, as participants. Little league, school sports, club sports, youth dance troupe, school clubs, school plays, birthday parties, baptism, quinceaneras, bris, etc. Or events whose main audience are designed for kids, carnivals, parades, kids fishing derby, Circus, Globetrotters, etc. are kids events, KEs. There are places on this planet today where kids have to work. There are places today where kids have to survive because they are not in the, the environments we are here in the West where we've worked very hard in, in, in the emerging world where they've worked very hard to improve their standard of living and to be honest with you to have a standard of living that lets us have kids be kids and grow and mature and learn is a great blessing let's not throw that away by injecting our politics let kids be kids Carly let's get back to the rules very little if any essence of politics should invade the lives of children Practitioners of Marcus highly discourage inclusion of any politics at any type of kids' event. When it does intrude, you should first try to quell this unnecessary activity. Then, if unable to see change, you should disengage from the KEs, even if the politics is from your side of the aisle. This should include polling funding either as sponsorship or direct funding to that organizer. Marcus's Rules recognizes the difference between 
displays a patriotism, civic education, and normal social acculturation from modern politics. Civic education is needed, and a mock election for president between cartoon characters is a great learning activity, but using real candidates becomes too much of an invitation for downside of politics. Civic education outside of high school should always try to use either historical examples or fictional candidates when instruction involving elections and general politics is taught. In high school discussion, educators can include current issues and candidates, but should always be balanced in time and avoid advocating for either a party or candidate. It should also avoid the use of questions as canard, to express advocacy through adverse framing and omitting of relevant information. It's important whether you're a parent or guardian or a taxpayer or just a concerned citizen to be involved in the education of the children in our communities. You're a citizen. You have a right to redress and to express your concerns to your government at every stinking level, including the school board. If we don't like the way they're teaching, then we can express that to them. We can explain what we think is better and show them our citizens' power of persuasion to what they're doing and get them to change. If they don't want to change after our persuasion, then we vote them out of office. But citizens' power is powerful and you can get band together and do things. And you can also be passive. And you can let whatever dribble into the education system you want. Because you're letting your citizen power go away. Use your citizen power. Be involved. Learn. Don't be a turd at a meeting. Be forceful. Be interesting. Be knowledgeable. And ask for change. That's how we move things along. Let's get back to the rules for kids' events. Carly? Since Marcus condones so little at KEs, the following are the only exception Marcus finds minimally allowable. However, they are still discouraged. Attendees to kids' events. Campaign regalia, promotional materials and clothing, excluding school bond promotions or opposition and Halloween costumes. Total space of political logos, text or image presented by any attendee should be no more than four inches by four inches. This is the total space of buttons, ribbons or printing slash stitching on clothing of all types. If a particular clothing color is currently associated with a candidate or issue, Marcus has no prohibition to wear those colors if it doesn't include logos, texts, or images. Attendees should not be involved in or encourage political cheers or bring signage. Attendees should not hand out or distribute political material. Kid event organizers should not accept sponsorship from any party, candidate, political action committee, or issue advocacy group. Thanks everyone. Thanks, Carly. It's important that we separate the vast majority of politics away from kids. Most of it occurs at events. Some of it occurs in the classroom. Both of it is wrong. Um, this part of Marcus addresses the public events. And if we, as a group, as everyone hold to these Marcus principles we can start to wean politics out of our children's lives back into the narrow little places that it needs to be civic education as they get older is important but as civic education not as advocacy not in as indoctrination it's important we teach them to be good citizens and patriots. But we don't teach them what to think. Let them learn on their own. It's their exploration. Why are you taking their opportunity for their own epiphany? 
for their own knowledge. Please, stop bringing politics into kids' events. I'm Al for the Marcus of Americas Project. We need your support. Please go to our Locals channel and become a member or a one-time gift would also be greatly appreciated. Hey, if you're seeing this on a platform like YouTube or Rumble or Odyssey or anywhere else in somebody's posts, please like, share, subscribe, blast it all over the world, and come see Uncle Al Says, where I try to give you some Uncle Al's wisdom. And come back as we continue on the Marcus of America's project to develop a code of conduct and a way for us all to be in our lives that puts politics back into the box it belongs. But until next time, thanks, and please come back. Bye.